So the Stranger Things season 4 volume 1 is out. I've created a complete review of volume 1. If you haven't checked it out yet, check it out. Volume 1 leaves us on a cliffhanger not just about Nancy's well-being but also about if Eleven regains her powers. Let's discuss each of the cliffhanger points. Warning, major spoilers ahead. So is Nancy dead? We see her climbing up the rope but landing in a completely dark place, a layer of Vecna. There, Vecna reveals it is none other than One, the first of the special humans with the power of telekinesis. We also learn he is the son of Victor Creel. So, maybe Nancy was just taken by Vecna to reveal his side of the story. The gang might revive her by playing the favorite music as volume 2 drops just like they save Max. And well, we know how lenient the Duffer brothers have been with the lives of the main characters, so we might see Nancy back. Also, it just doesn't fit into picture Nancy being dead. So, now let's discuss how will Vikna die if he dies by the end of season 4. While Eleven powers are going to be a major plot in defeating Vikna, there's a theory that Eddie and his love to play the guitar might have a big role in beating Vikna. Also, there's another popular theory stating that Lucas's ability to play basketball extremely well might also have a role in defeating Vecna. Hopper, who reunites with Joyce at the end of Volume 1, will definitely have a big role in defeating Vecna. Now, these are just theories. Don't throw racial slurs my way if these don't come true. Will Eleven get back her powers? At the end of Episode 7, we see Eleven recall the massacre was all the fault of one. It was he who put to death all those people in the lab, however bad they were. She also recalled that it was she who was opening the dimension to another portal, throwing one into the upside down, helping him become Vikna. We see Eleven's heartbeat elevating and Dr. Martin saying to Dr. Owens, it's happening. Now this might very well show the return of the powers of Eleven. Just like Spider-Man lost his powers for a while in the second movie, Eleven lost hers due to stress. By recalling those events, she might just have restored her powers. Well, these were some interesting theories we might see come to play in Volume 2. Mind you that each of the two episodes is going to be the duration of a full-fledged film. So well, the Duffer brothers still have a lot to tell. Volume 2 releases July 1 and I'll be back with interesting theories when Volume 2 pops in. Till then, it's Shivam from Flame of Stars signing off.